there, but today is Shuang Shi Jie. That is double tenth day. It is the national day here in Taiwan. We are now up on the floor where we can enter the museum place of this area. There's like a thousand people surrounding this. It's gonna be one of the hardest shots I've ever got. Just look at all these people. And I just discovered that the Shirling station of the MRT station is amazing. Taiwan and good morning Taipei. My name is Logan Beck and welcome to day three of my tour around Taipei. You see I am coming down here for the Zhangchoujie for the mid-autumn festival break and I've been doing some fun things. First we went to the zoo, the next day we went to Raohe Yesh or the Raohe night market and today we are at a special place. One of Taiwan's most attracted and busiest places here on the holidays and that would be the National Palace. Gugong Bo Wuguan. And this place is super beautiful and I'm excited to show you. As well as today's a special day, and I'm gonna tell you more about it later, but today is Shuang Shi Jie. That is double tenth day, it is the national day here in Taiwan. Which means it's gonna be a pretty fun day to check out this palace and to see how beautiful it is. Now this place is also a museum, it's got lots of history. We're gonna spend a little bit of time doing that, but first I wanted to start off with showing you this outside and how beautiful it is. So guys, I'm ready for the adventures, I hope you guys are too. And uh, today's just gonna be a blast because we get to travel around Taipei and travel around Taiwan and check things out. So, let's go enjoy this place together. <music> to this palace is actually super, super easy. All you do is you hop on the red line of the MRT and you go to the Shirlin station. Once you're at the Shirlin station, you just take a bus and you are here. The whole trip takes about 30 minutes. Very easy and very, very convenient. This place is also super beautiful. There's the two parts I was talking about. You have the actual palace and right next to the palace is this beautiful, beautiful garden that you can see behind me. And I'm gonna show you in just a second. And then of course there's a big museum that we're going to check out after. So let's go enjoy this beautiful park. I mean, just look at this. Wow. So, I'm going to show you a little bit and then we're going to be headed inside the museum to check out how wonderful that is. Let's go. up on the floor where we can enter the museum place of this area. I'm really excited to take you and really excited to check it out. There have, they do have lots of translating and lots of actually guided tours so you can learn a lot as you go because there's lots of history, there's lots of things in there. So uh, I think I think we're going to head in so uh, let's go. When you go inside this museum you actually cannot bring food, tripods or water. We are now walking into the calligraphy room. This is a room full of really ancient and popular arts of calligraphy. And uh, I can just show you a few. There's ones like this. Oh. 
That was from year 227. So this room is just full of super old manuscripts and things where they use beautiful calligraphy. So um, it's pretty fun here seeing all this special old art. Now this place is loaded and loaded with stuff. As I said before, it's got over 690,000 items. We have been on three floors right now. This is the second floor. And there are just items upon items, and there's so many things. We just looked at a whole bunch of calligraphy and a whole bunch of art, just like this. Everywhere you go, it's loaded with beautiful artifacts that have been preserved for a long time. It's actually a really, really nice museum, so I like it a lot. One thing I don't like is it's a museum, and well, I like to talk loud, so you gotta be a little bit quiet here. Anyways though, beautiful place, lots of things to go see. We're going to go back and see some more. I do want to show you one little thing. On, on my way walking here on the first floor, we went and we saw one of the most popular things here. It's called a jaded uh, cabbage. So it's a cabbage made out of jade. And there were just people swarming around it, but I did get a chance to look at it, so let's go. There's like a thousand people surrounding this. This is going to be one of the hardest shots I've ever got. Just look at all these people. Was he stood on that thing over there? You good? You good? You good? Go. No. Elma? Where? Hey guys, you have to check out this 3D thingy. Check this out. Okay, I am now in this next room, which is on the third floor, and it is the jade room. Everything in here is made with jade. There are just some beautiful things. There's lots of pottery, there's lots of interesting shapes, and lots of really cool things, once again, all made out of jade. I mean, if you look at this. Lots of things, lots of really fun things. So this, this place actually has lots of interesting and fun and very significant history. The museum was actually very beautiful and very well done. I enjoyed it a lot and we didn't even get to see even a little fraction of what they had. There's so much stuff there and there's so much history, it is just unthinkable. Well guys, I enjoyed today and I was going to tell you before, today is a national holiday. It is the national day here in Taiwan. It's called Shuang Shi Jie. Shuang means double, Shi means ten, Jie means holiday. So you put that together and it's Double tenth day. It's a big day here in Taiwan, and that is their day of independence. That is the national day. So this is really fun, and actually, a long time ago, on the exact same day, this place, the big palace, was actually established. So that makes it pretty special and pretty fun that we came today. So, uh, but otherwise, today's been fun. I'm going to grab some food, and then we can talk, but uh, man, there are some good food here in Taipei, so let's head off. Okay guys, I just made a huge, amazing discovery. So I just took the bus from the palace all the way back to the Shirlin station. And I just discovered that the Shirlin station, uh, the MRT station, is amazing. It's full of food, full of shopping, and it's just a happening place. There's so many people and I want to come here one day. I want to come here during the night and see what kind of life is going on here. This seems like an awesome place. It's a place that I would like to move to. It's so nice. So that's something I want to do. But speaking of things that I want to do next time, I want to know, what should I do next time? What do you guys think that I should do next time I come to Taipei? There's so many things here and uh, I haven't even done a lot of them. So I want to know, what do you guys think that I should do? And maybe your suggestion will be the one that I'll do next time. So we'll have to see. But thanks for joining me guys on my adventures today and my whole adventures throughout Taiwan and Taipei. We did some fun stuff, but today was really fun going to the National Palace Museum. Beautiful place and glad that we could go. Okay guys, well it's time to hop back onto the metro, head to the Gautier and head back to the beautiful beloved Zhanghua City. If you're new, hit that subscribe button. We go lots of places and I want to take you with me. Okay guys, well I think you all know the drill. Until next time, I'll see you in Taiwan. This reminds me a lot of the full Guashan. That's a big place, it's a big mu it's a big Buddha Buddha Buddha.